So another Andy B two minute video. I'm looking off to the side because I can't remember the title. Springs, bins and sensors. Um, now we've got a sensor bin. I don't know if you know what a sensor bin is, but let me quickly explain it to you. It's a bin with a sensor doesn't get much more complicated but when you put your hand across the front or it detects a movement at the front the lid of the bin opens up nice and wide it stays there for so many seconds you can put stuff into the bin you haven't got to touch the bin to put stuff in it we absolutely love it we're very grateful to Ben and Liz's house we went to a long time ago and they had a sensor bin now we have one it's one of those when you think just open the bin and then you try it for the first time and you think this is life-changing Anyway, leaving bins to one side. It stopped working quite a while ago. It wasn't working very well. You could put fresh batteries in. You could hear the motor was spinning very well. You can hear the noise of the door, the, the trap at the top trying to be opened. But it was getting less and less open. Now, initially, that's because the batteries would start to fade. And as they faded, it wasn't able to open the, the bin lid quite so much. But over time, we realized, you know, these are brand new batteries. You can hear the power of the motor and... You can hear something grinding and trying, and it's not lifting this lid. So it got so bad that I took it apart, and I decided that I'm not going to buy another one. I'm sure it's a simple fix. I'm sure it's just bad engineering. The idea of the engineering is brilliant, but here's the thing. Inside, there's a rod that's attached to a motor. When the motor turns, the rod change, changes. As it changes, it's sitting inside of something else, which then forces the bin to open. They're both made of plastic, which is a really stupid engineering decision because when you get something that's plastic and you put it under immense tension and it's quite thin, it's going to break. And that's what happened with ours. The bin was not able to open because the motor was still good, but the bit that the motor was turning was no good at all. So I took it apart, I fixed it, I glued it, I strengthened this little sheath thing that the motor sits inside so that when it turns it didn't split and break. That was a funny noise that we were hearing. Used some cable ties, super glued those on, cut off the ends. It all works perfectly now. But I took out a spring. We don't need the spring. I don't even know what it was for. We've been the spring. Sometimes in life there are things we do and there's things left around. It's that classic thing with the furniture. This wasn't accidental. This was deliberate. That spring was not needed for it to work properly. But now I've taken the time to fix it. It's all good again. And that's what God does in our life. He takes things out sometimes that we just don't need. Just a thought.